Letters from God and His Christ, Volume 7 To all those who speak against the Lord's words, given to Timothy, May 21, 2007 From God the Father, a letter given to Timothy, for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord to all those who reject my words, and persecute my prophets, and then in turn have the gall to call themselves my servants. For you do betray me, in open and in secret. You have all gone out of the way, thinking you stand. You do not stand. For you have stood against me, and my word, sent forth through my prophets. This is not to stand. Lo, you shall be brought very low. You shall not be gathered. Neither will I hear you. For you have forsaken your Lord for your own way. Such arrogant, high minded children have come to live amongst the churches, continually misleading themselves and all those they speak to in my own name, yet never hearing the voice of the Lord their God. Sons and daughters of men, did you think I would stay silent? Did you think that I, even I, would not blow the trumpet and alert the watchman? Therefore it is fulfilled and shall come to pass, even all these who call of themselves by my own name, the name I have given my Son, the Holy One. Yes, even these shall come saying, Lord, Lord, have we not done all these things in your name? And it shall come to pass in that day, which is upon you, that the Son of Man, your Redeemer shall in turn answer them, saying, I never knew you. For if you truly knew him, and he lived in you, then you would recognize those sent and the word given them. Yet you forbear, resting in beds of false doctrine, even the doctrines of men. Therefore you shall not be gathered, for I do not see of myself in you. And though you speak my words instant in and out of season, you speak them seasoned with the salt I myself have not given you. This you have received in vain at the hands of men. Know you not that which is of God has salt in itself and in no wise needs seasoning? Get wisdom and receive understanding and repent and give heed to those I send and I shall yet gather you, and you shall escape all these things. Forbear, and you shall endure refinement in the day of the Lord, and by great tribulation shall you come into glory. For I am the Lord, and I shall surely correct and discipline even all those I love. Yes, all those who have been led astray and teach others in like manner, a leading away from the truth, as I myself had spoken it, and how it was meant to be received. Behold, the kingdoms of men are finished, and not one church built by human hands shall endure. All shall crumble and fall to pieces before the glory of God, wrought in his only begotten, who is the truth absolute. You know not the mind of God, neither have you heard his voice. Therefore be separate, says the Lord, and joined unto me. Look past my prophets, and see with greater eyes. For your ego has crippled you, and your knowledge has caused you to blaspheme my words. Repent, O sons and daughters of men, for you have become so very poor, thinking you are rich. Repent, and call on me in truth with all humility, in the Christ's name. Yes, Jesus. Yeshua, the gift. Yehoshua is his name. And you shall receive true understanding. Depart from these vanities built up in the hearts of men. Stop desecrating my word in the scriptures of truth for your own glory. For humility and faith is what I require of all my servants. You cannot serve both God and men. For men in authority, even in all these churches of men, 
are perverse in their segregation of my word and in the corrupt amusings of their hearts. You have divided my word. Yes, you have divided it, and it shall slay you, even in your heart. For the day is coming when you shall be pricked in your heart, and you shall wail. When again the same one, whom you have brought against a false accusation, comes once again in the day of sorrow, saying, Thus says the Lord. And you realize, all you have done has been found wanting. You shall not tempt the Lord your God. For my prophets are sent out. They prepare the way of the Holy One. And behold, he shall surely return and gather, and come in great glory. Yea, these men, even 144,000, are sent out, and are already in the earth, blowing the trumpet. Yet you cover your ears, saying within yourself, I already hear, and will not heed any trumpet, other than that which I have made, or was put in my hand by man, and not God. For I alone am righteous, and these with me know God's will, and we shall teach others, and we will by no means listen to these sent. We shall stone them in word and deed, and cast all their cords from us, saying, You shall no more speak in the Lord's name. Sons and daughters of men, who call of themselves by Christ's own name, you shall not be gathered. You are abased, because you are found to be exalted among your fellows. The Lord has spoken and says, Repent! And I myself shall place your feet once again on the path of truth, where all understanding comes from God and is given through Christ, to all those who truly abide in him, and he in them. The Lord does not change!